Alright everyone, in this video, I'll be going over all the update news that Doors is supposed to be getting in the very near future, in like less than a month maybe. So yeah, if you're excited for the Minds Plus or whatever update it's gonna be called, then make sure to like the video and subscribe. And let's begin. Alright, so the first thing that Doors is gonna be getting is a new subfloor. So basically, during the Hotels Plus update, we got the back door. No, it wasn't the back doors. It was the rooms update. And it added a whole nother section called the rooms where you had to progress through 1000 doors. So and so basically, this time during the Mines event, there's also going to be another subsection. Maybe it's not going to be called the Mines Plus update confirmed by Redables, but it is going to be coming very soon. So people speculate as well as me, and there's some proof behind this that the next subfloor is going to be called gardens potentially, as there's a lot of things backing this claim up. For example, we have this little leak from from this YouTuber who was able to exploit into the codes Shadows to Rise and they could see that there's a subfloor called Garden or Gardens. Now the subfloor called Gardens, what do we expect? Well, as we already know that Redables has kind of hinted and kind of confirmed that the vine creature we see at floor 152 and floor floor 90, the courtyard, we can see that there's a giant vine creature with like tentacle-like vines. And Redables has hinted that this has something to do with the snare entity. So Redables on Discord once said that the snare entity is like a giant ecosystem of a mob and the snares are like little bits and pieces of that giant mob. So the snare entity's entire full body could be this vine creature and we actually encounter this vine creature in the subfloor called gardens and there's a lot more proof alluding to the gardens being real. As we roam around the mines we can see we can come across a lot of a lot of garden rooms with shears. Now now in the mines there's only one use for the shears for now but when the subfloor is added let's say you can maybe hypothetically theoretically use the shears to cut open the subfloor's gate just like we had the room section blocked off by by lock picks we can use a lock pick and open the rooms including the skeleton key now just like that you can use the shears and access the gardens portion in the mines so maybe the subfloor gardens is actually going to be right around the corner of the next update. There's also going to be a little expansion on the courtyard room, secret basement room that we can go, that we can go and collect a lot of coins from. So this little base we have, this is going to get an expansion. There's also a door which is blocked off and there's no way to enter this room. So when the update actually rolls around, maybe this part can open up and we can actually maybe go underneath to the statue and maybe come out from there. So there's a little leak. Shout out to Cheddarballs for this. I love his name. We can see that if you go to Roblox Studios and put the doors map, for the hotel map, the statue actually can open up and reveal a secret little passageway. Now, this basement, courtyard basement, could lead you out of the statue. So this could be an easter egg slash lore room that, that's gonna be added in the update potentially all right i'm with bob here and the next thing that's gonna be in the update is lock picks are gonna be added into the mines so for now the mines don't really have a use for the lock picks you can't really find them but in the new update you you'll be able to find lock picks and be able to like hack the generators with the lock picks which is basically added which was basically added for speedrunners to speedrun the game faster or even to open up the sub space subfloor for the mines you might need the lock picks as well as the shears because the skeleton key doesn't really exist in the gardens or maybe this garden subfloor isn't a different realm like like the rooms are all right so there's been two new entity leaks okay well these aren't really new but these were leaked 
when the Floor 2 update actually was coming out. And it's literally Abraham Lincoln in a figure looking silhouette. It's called Abraham Lincoln and this looks like figure but it's not figure. But it has Abraham Lincoln's hat. I don't know what they're gonna do with this one but the next mob called Wade could be added to the next update. So basically the Wade entity is a is an entity that can be found only underwater and the underwater rooms are actually present in the mines. Some rooms in the mines are flooded and in those rooms in the new update there can be this new entity called Wade that could attack you. Obviously these aren't confirmed but these are potential entities that could be coming in the new update. Alright so the next thing is that there's a secret giant doorway in door in door 99 in hotels. Now this could lead to somewhere I don't know but in the next update maybe this can be opened up and we can find maybe another type of herb like the herb of verdis are right, the next change that's going to be in the update is pretty much confirmed to be the heartbeat heartbeat minigame so the heartbeat minigame was actually removed due to players struggling and it being like a buggy mechanic the heartbeat minigame would only occur when you're fighting against figure and you're in a closet and it was removed in the floor 2 update and the devs have said that they're gonna be reworking this system making it better and they're gonna add this in a new update there's also another change that could potentially happen is so when the doors floor 2 update actually released it was really difficult to beat players had a really difficult time mainly because of the mob snare now the snare mob would be all throughout the mine section and it is speculated players speculate that the snare mob is nowhere to be found in the mines update but they're gonna re-add the snare mob into the garden rooms so if you find the garden rooms you can also find the snare entities are there all right the next update is potentially going to be the modifiers update now there's a lot of modifiers that have been confirmed by the developers so in the next mines update we can expect a modifier that makes dread the entity dread faster and basically more powerful. Another modifier that's potentially going to be added is the ability to add giggles in the hotel. So the modifiers here, these are going to get, they're going to be adding even more modifiers to the hotels. There's also going to be another modifier that's going to allow you to play the old hotel. So basically the one that didn't have the courtyard with the old figure and all that shenanigans. Another modifier is going to allow you to add the entities from back doors, from the back doors into hotels and the mines so like the look man can be added in the, ho in the hotel or the mines in the next update there's also fire damp rooms and the back doors haste room modifiers that you can enable and make your life even harder than it needs to be fire damp rooms can be changed so that you can die sooner in the modifiers update in floor 2 you can spawn gloom bats in hotel with the new modifiers there's potentially going to be another modifier which allows you to have smaller inventory so i think the max is like seven items then this modifier is going to like only allow you to carry three maybe there's also this admin panel which was leaked now after this was leaked the devs actually confirmed that this admin panel is going to be available to all players but they do need a game pass now this allows you to become any mob like figure like the queen grumble screech anyone and troll players it also allows you to spawn any entity you like it's basically admin commands and this is gonna be a game pass now usually when there's a modifiers update when, well not usually but like the last time the modifiers update came with this stupid little badge called hotel hell as well as not five stars. Now, when the floor two modifiers update actually rolls around, be sure to have, be sure to expect a mines hell or some like that badge coming, as well as something along the lines as not five stars. So completing with like 150 or 200 modifier bonus is gonna allow you to get another badge like Hotel Hell. That badge is gonna be impossible to get but expect it very soon. And finally, there's been confirmation that they have, the devs have been working on changing or reworking 
how the scanner from Curious Light actually works. Now the scanner was actually quite overpowered so they took it out of the game in floor 2 and they replaced it with, with the vial of starlight but they're gonna be reworking the scanner and they're gonna implement it again. That is practically confirmed by the devs themselves. And there's gonna be multiple little updates like the hotel, like the mines plus update, little updates until floor 3 actually rolls around so that the players have something to do. Alright well that was all the things that's gonna be potentially added in the new doors update which is gonna be right around the corner as Redables has tweeted saying we are cooking right now so they are working on the update so within a month or two months maximum expect a new doors update and yeah I hope this video helped you guys out and yeah go watch this video